What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video you will learn Newton Euler equation of motion for 6 and 4 degree of freedom model. So without spending much time, let's start now. Here you can see that car is having body center coordinate given by B in X, Y and Z direction. The global coordinate G is fixed to the ground in capital X, Y and Z directions. If we consider a case of only yaw, then yaw along Z axis with angle psi will cause the rotation of x axis by angle psi in xy plane. Now if we consider a case with only rolling, then roll along x axis with angle phi will cause the rotation of y axis by angle phi in yz plane. The last case is only pitching. Pitch along y axis with angle theta will cause the rotation of z axis with angle theta in xz plane. So here we can write i, j, K are the body center coordinates, U, V and W are the linear velocities and P, Q and R are the angular velocity of vehicle. The force system is expressed in body coordinate frame as F equals to Fx i cap plus Fy j cap plus Fz k cap and torque or moment equals to L i cap plus M j cap plus N k cap. You all know that linear momentum is given by P equals to M v where v is the velocity given by vx i cap plus v by j cap plus vz k cap. Force is given by dp by dt, so we can write force equals to mass multiplied by dv by dt. From here we get dv by dt equals to d by dt of vx i cap plus v by j cap plus vz k cap. On differentiation we get the following equation. The first three terms are simple and these are the observed value of acceleration from body center coordinates. As the body center coordinates i, j and k are also changing with time, that's why the other three terms are the differentiation of these body center coordinates that is di by dt, dj by dt and dk by dt. Now let's calculate the value of di by dt. We all know velocity is given by omega cross r which means dr by dt equals to omega cross r. So by this we can write di by dt equals to omega cross i, dj by dt equals to omega cross j and dk by dt equals to omega cross k where omega equals to pi cap, qj cap and rk cap. On putting these values we get the following equation where first term is value observed while sitting on body center and second is the effect of rotation. So we get dv by dt equals to u dot i cap plus v dot j cap plus w dot k cap plus omega cross v where omega cross v is given by the following vector. On solving these we get the Euler equation of force for 6 degree of freedom model. Now you know that angular momentum is given by h equals to i cross omega and torque is given by dh by dt where torque equals to l i cap plus m j cap plus n k cap. Similar as above we can write torque equals to del h by del t plus omega cross h. Here i is the moment of inertia given by this and omega equals to p, q and r. h is given by i cross omega. So we get the following value of h in x, y and z direction. Assuming moment of inertia only about principal axis, we get the following value of angular momentum. On solving these, we get the Euler equation for torque in x, y and z direction as L, M and N. So these are the values of force and movement for 6 degree of freedom model. Now you know that in vehicle roll dynamics we have 4 degree of freedom model because pitching and vertical movement are neglected that is Q equals to 0 and W equals to 0. This gives the following value of force in X and Y direction as Z is neglected and the value of movement in XZ direction as pitching along y is neglected. So here you got the values of Euler equation of motion for 4 and 6 degree of freedom model. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the video useful, do share it. Also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.